Praise the name of the Lord. Shalom, family. Once again, you're welcome. Welcome to this amazing, great, awesome, what an awesome session. Of course, it's your friend and your start of Ari, and I bring you a timely word from the Lord. I want to appreciate all those that are checking already to this particular word. Happy Sunday to you. <laughs> it's the end of last week and it's the beginning of a new week. I pray that at the entrance of God's word tonight, there is going to be light beaming in from your spirit, man, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's all consider to like the word of God. Subscribe, you're not subscribed to this ministry and the Lord bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus. You know, invisible battles will never end. Invisible battles will never end. But what we do as children of God is that we move from one level to another level to another level until we are made perfect. Oh, yes. When you move from one place to another, from one level to another, you keep having different, you know, realms of invisible battles. And one of the ways to win invisible battles, invisible barriers, invisible confrontations, invisible, especially invisible confrontation, is to not keep your mouth shut, but rather to talk and to keep talking in the midst of that invisible confrontation. You might not even be hearing it audibly, but so far as you keep talking about it, you keep talking about it, you find yourself winning and winning and winning. I hear this invisible confrontation. This person is asking, who gave you the right? Who gave you the right to shine? Who gave you the right for your name to be announced? Who gave you the right to get to that level of engagement? Who gave you the right to be married? Who gave you the right to be settled? Who gave you the right, you know, who gave you the right to get that property, to buy that land, to get that house. They have so much inhabited themselves, you know, they have so much made your family and that zone to be a comfortable place for them such that they are so, so angry. They are burning with anger at the progress you are making, at the, the steps you are making. Bible says, I will arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her has come. Yes, the set time to favor her has come. I see the set time is being made evidential in your life. But I hear confronting powers, invisible confronters asking, who gave you the right? Like they own that territory, like they are the ones that are supposed to dominate there, like they, are the, they were the first to emerge in that place. And nobody can cross landmarks without getting to them. And the Lord says, don't keep quiet. Whether you are hearing them or you are not hearing them, I come to prophesy to you. God says, don't keep quiet, but rather he says, speak, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities and powers in high places through the casting down of imagination and every high thing that has exalted himself above the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. All satanic embargoes, all satanic restrictions that want to ensure and reinforce that uh, uh, pattern that had existed in that family. It's time for you to talk. The Bible says in the book of Philippians, and I want you to open your Bible, I want you to get to the scripture. Philippians chapter 2 from verse number 9, right down and verse number 13. The Bible says, therefore, God also has exalted, has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every other name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of those in earth and of those in the heavens and of those under the earth. Verse 13 says, I mean, verse 11 says, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Now, I love what verse 13 says. It says, for it is God who walks in you both to will and to do his good pleasure. It is God who walks through you. It is not about you. It's not about who gave you the rights, but it is God who walks through you. 
to ensure that his his good pleasures are being displayed upon the earth. So don't be scared of getting into that adventure. Stop saying nobody in that family has been able to go through it. These are the confrontation that comes in the form of imagination, that comes in the form of doubt, that comes in the form of fear. These are the confrontation. He says, for it is God who works in you, both to will and to do his good pleasure. Oh my, 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 my. Don't keep calm. Keep speaking it and keep saying it. Keep confessing your lands and your properties and your wealth and your fountain and your health in the name of Jesus. No witch can kill you. No occultist can kill you. They think because uh, they have been in that place, no other person should arise. You will arise in their midst. They will see your star rising and they are going to come to bow to that star. For kings shall come to your rising in the mighty name of Jesus. You must not take charms in order to succeed. They will watch you succeeding with by the grace of God and by the power of his majesty. They will watch you excelling and they will watch you increasing. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the Lord display his splendor upon your life. In Jesus' name, amen. I do love you so much and shalom. God bless you.